Football was her priority until repeated concussions posed even bigger questions. Some of Freya Holdaway's photo album looks painful because it was. The Crystal Palace and Northern Ireland defender sometimes suffered very obvious injuries, at other times they were invisible. Freya is not critical of her club, but of procedures in the game as a whole. You know, physios, medical staff can follow a protocol that the FA is, puts out there. But then within 30 seconds, I've ticked all those boxes and then having a seizure, then surely that's not enough. Football is accused of being way behind other sports on concussion. The boss of the Professional Footballers Association appeared before a Commons committee today. So there's nothing at all you would have done differently over the last 19 years than you've done now in terms of concussion in sport in your sport. I wish we'd, you I think wish, that, that I wish we'd I wish we'd managed to uh, unlock the key. When you say there's nothing at all we would have done, we we can we're doing our best along with every other issue in the game. Research is ongoing, but here is a known fact. Five of the England heroes of 1966 are living with or have died with dementia. And new research suggests women are far more likely to suffer concussion from a header than men. You know, we've got immediate blood changes, immediate brain function. We've got seasons long changes in brain scans and we've also got dementia. I think that's more than enough to say for the balance of probabilities. I don't think heading the ball is a great idea. Children in the United States have been banned from heading the ball, and Freya thinks it's inevitable here. Would I want my son or daughter heading a ball that could then, you know, in my, in my case, put me in a home by the time I'm 50? Um, would I want that for my kids? Absolutely not. The beautiful game has had to face some ugly realities recently, and this one could turn out to be the biggest. Simon Viger, 5 News.